XDC network. This coin has some legitimate potential. I mean, it's one of the few, there's only nine cryptos compliant with, glo with the global payment standards. Uh, XDC network has done that. They're also developing this really well. Uh, they've had a hackathon recently. Well, kind of a hackathon. Um, and they're pushing forward in terms of development really, really nicely. So I want to take a look at what this can hit in the next bull cycle. Before I get into that though, guys, if you're new to the channel here, um, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. And in the videos, I showed myself buying these coins because I expected them to run up in price very, very nicely. Uh, you can see what the prices of all these coins were when I recorded my videos. Um, as well as the highs that these coins hit less than 18 months on and what the profit would have been from $100 into each one. And if you had just done that, 100 into every single one when I released the videos about them and then sat on them for 16, 17 months, you really didn't need to do anything else and then jump onto your wallet and sell them, your profit would have been over 123 grand. That's not too bad. <clears throat> I sold all of these. We had the market crash. Since the market crash, I've been buying up new coins. These are coins that I think can run up very, very nicely in price. Uh, and I share them on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So anytime I find a coin that I think can do a 40x, a 50x, a 100x, I buy them. And what that means is I will tell the members what the coin is, what profits it can have, and what percentage of my money I'm putting in. They can copy along exactly. This means they'll make the exact same profit as me. The added bonus as well, they don't have to do any work. They don't have to read white papers, learn about charts, or learn about any of the blockchain tech. They can just make the same profits being in the market. And if that sounds good to you, head over to copymycrypto.com now, check out the site. Everything on the site is public record, so you can verify everything that you read and see, um, whether that's what the members have earned, whether that's what I've said in the past. You know, I did a whole course about Phantom and why it would 100x, and it ended up doing nearly 700x gains. Uh, just one of them can change people's lives. So when I find another Phantom, I'm just going to share that on my site with the members. And there's a couple that I've already found that I think can do those kinds of runs. So if you want to hear about them, like I say, go on to copymycrypto.com now. Um, so XTC Network. This launched back in 2018. Sort of, you know, it's only actually been through one bull cycle. Uh, and it ran up very nicely in price. I mean, make no mistake about it. This did about, well, what is it, about 200x or so. Did very, very nicely from like lows. Um, <clears throat> it was used, used to be known as Zinfin. Um, so XDC Network is a hybrid public slash private blockchain. So it combines transparency of public blockchains with the speed and security of private networks. Uh, with the help of the blockchain tech and the state-of-the-art infrastructure, the project wants to provide streamlined financial services to its users. Uh, so they have a delegated proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, um, and this network can process about 2,000 transactions uh, per second. Now, obviously that's very good. That makes it one of the, more, the fastest networks around. Uh, the founders of XTC are... Um, <clears throat> Ritesh Kakad, Atul Kakade, and Karen uh, Bardwaj. In 2018, however, Bardwaj resigned to devote more time to his own uh, startup, Elatior Tech. So Ritesh is a tech entrepreneur with extensive experience in the blockchain industry, a uh, bachelor's degree in commerce, accounting and finance from uh, University of Mumbai. Uh, before joining Zimfin, he helped establish the solutions and applications development firm, um, Indsoft Systems. Atul Kakade is a skilled software engineer and programmer who establishes new technology companies um, and provides funding for emerging platforms on XTC. He was instrumental in the development of Monita Go, uh, a financial tech firm that worked to combat online fraud. On top of that, he was instrumental in the development of Airnet, which is a hybrid online offline travel agency. Uh, so both have very, very strong resumes in terms of uh, development and entrepreneurial endeavors. Um, XTC, as I said, Zinfin <coughs> um, had ETH, ETH India recently. Uh, this was a journey with hackers engaging in uh, discussions and innovative projects that were taking shape within the Zinfin uh, ecosystem. Um, and they've begun to build and contribute to the overall future of its blockchain. As I said, 
<clears throat> it's one of the few that are globally compliant. So we have the new ISO 20022 standards. These are going to be um, the standards for um, all financial institutions by 2025. Um, and there are nine crypto compliant, uh, nine cryptos that are compliant with this, XDC being one of them. Um, and what this means, because none of these, there is no crypto that can create or operate a CBDC unless they are compliant. So realistically, as of right now, there are only nine that are able to, to run a CBDC for a country. Now, and the reality is, is if a country is going to run a CBDC and many are sort of testing that, but some are already doing it, uh, they have to use one of these networks. They're not going to build their own blockchain. It's just not going to happen. Um, makes no sense. Why put in all that time and effort to do that if you've already got established networks that can do the job? Um, so XDC could, in theory, be one of the, could land a CBDC. Now, CBDCs are a terrible concept. They're a terrible idea, and they are going to effectively cause all of us as citizens, re put us in really bad situations. It is just a terrible concept, terrible idea. I do not want to see the end of money. I like cash, <laughs> but this is the way the world is going. And uh, if you're not familiar with how a CBDC could be used against you or poorly, you know, I highly recommend you do, do some reading. Um, but anything that runs a CBDC, especially if it was the dollar or the euro, <clears throat> the net growth and worth of them is going to be staggering because they will effectively be running trillions of dollars of transactions a year uh, that will make them worth or have a market cap of a trillion dollars. Like it will, it just will. Um, so it's worth bearing that in mind because, you know, even if you hate the concept of the CBDC, you know where the money's going. Uh, so <clears throat> as I said, this is an enterprise grade blockchain protocol. It's also Ethereum virtual machine compatible. Uh, so it has smart contracts and they aim to be fully decentralized. Now, um, it is worth noting that as of right now, I do think XTC's ecosystem is weak I don't think there, I think there is like a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of growth on this. <clears throat> um, the network participants are very well established. You know, Anchor is one of them. You've got Now Payments, Change Now. Um, you know, Fathom, actually quite well known as well. You've got Princeton University. You've got Quant Network, One Chain. There's plenty of strong network participants here. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, <clears throat> institution wise I don't not like enterprise wise and institution wise none of these except copper particularly have my interest copper is very well established um, there's plenty of wallets obviously supporting plenty of exchanges you should never have exchanges as part of your ecosystem I get it but you shouldn't because it's just fluffing it's not actually like no one's going oh that's a really good ecosystem partner are they? Um, DApps wise, this is where I think there needs to be some growth. I think the DApps as of right now are pretty weak. Um, and I'd like to see that in particular. If we could see for the, the two big areas for XDC that have to grow, number one is fundamentally the DApps that are built upon them. Number two is what enterprise slash institutions are working with on with xdc if we see a big big name company start working with xdc that's going to be huge you know say it was nike say it was google apple whatever right <clears throat> by the way it doesn't have to be the biggest company in the world um but if it was just one of those that would be great like that would be enough to just pump this hugely um and in terms of dApps, we just need some like use some dApps that people want to use. Whether that dApp is based on a DeFi protocol like lending and borrowing, whether that dApp was 
uh, a defiled yearn mechanism, whether that DAP was, you know, a game. What we want to see is the growth and the, and the user base actually using them. And as of right now, there's very few that are drawing that much interest. Um, and that's kind of evident by the fact that you've got a coin here with nearly 700 million market cap. And the volume right now is about 18 million a day. And granted, yes, we're in a sort of transitional market. But <clears throat> you'd want, for a coin with that kind of market cap, you'd want to be seeing higher volume. You really would. So that as well as kind of evidence. I still think this is going to blast. The key thing for uh, for these, like I said, get a big, big, uh, either onboard a solid company or just really start having some surge in growth in the DAPs. And I think we will. I think they've they've endeavoured to sort of reach out to hackers. They've endeavoured to reach out to developers. They're trying to push this forward, and I think they will very successfully, uh, which is why I expect XC. DC to do some nice gains. I would be looking at this for a 50 cent target. <clears throat> now, that puts it at market cap of nearly $7 billion. Um, all time high was about 20 cents, 19.4 cents, 19.39 cents. Um, so 50 cents would be quite a jump from that. But I think that's very, very achievable. Um, it's already a quarter of the way to its all time high right now. Uh, so I think 50 cents is a very, very fair target. A dollar would not shock me here. I think this is a very, very um, intriguing uh, project. And I think when the narrative around CBDCs strengthens, and I don't mean in terms of, oh, cool, it's a CBDC, let's get in on it. I mean, in terms of <clears throat> when we start seeing CBDCs in common discussions on mainstream media the nine coins that are iso 20022 compliant are going to have nice runs off the back of those those conversations anyone that mentions the cbdc it's gonna be oh cool well these nine can run one so they're going to pump and xdc will pump when we see cbdc discussions on fox news or cnn or whatever shite mainstream news that you watch um so yeah, I think 50 cents fairly inevitable. I actually think a dollar could ease, be easily done as well. Um, because I just think that's in a full-blown bull cycle, all it's going to take is the right news narrative to push these forward. Uh, but if we add in some solid companies and some solid dApps, you know, it could do more. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it can do, you know, $2? <coughs> Excuse me. Two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. Where where are you thinking for uh, Zinfin? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Uh, and if you just want to take the work out of your crypto investing, if you want to make the exact same profits as me, head over to copymycrypto.com now and have a look at the site. Everything on the site is public record. You can verify what the members have earned. You can verify what I've said in the past. Um, all of it's public record. You can go through the old videos on this channel to confirm. Um, Copymycrypto.com is where I dive into the markets every day. When I find a coin that can do a 40x, a 50x, a 100x, I buy it. And what that means is I'll tell the members what the coin is, what gains it can have, what percentage of my money I'm putting in. They can always copy my portfolio exactly. This literally removes all work for the members. They're always going to make the same profit as me. And if that sounds good to you guys, just go onto the site, read through it all, watch the videos. And if you like what you see, guys, join me there. And that's it from me. Take care.